Hello viewers, welcome back to a new day with a new video. So yesterday we learned about savings and today we are going to talk about income. I know this is quite familiar term with your daily life, but today we are going to learn about this topic very specifically. So without any more wasting time, let's start our today's video. So what is income? The flow of cash or cash equivalents received from work, wage or salary, capital or land, rent. Income is money or some equivalent value that an individual or business receives in exchange for providing a good or service or through investing capital. For individual, income is most often received in the form of wages or salary. In businesses, income can refer to a company remaining revenues after paying all expenses and taxes. In this case, income is referred to as earnings. Most forms of income are subject to taxation. Output What is output? Output in economics is the quantity of goods or services produced in a given time period by a farm or country whether consumed or used for future production, the concept of national output is essential in the field of macroeconomics. Output is the result of an economic process that has used inputs to produce product or services that is available for sale or use somewhere else. So we can say output refers to the total production of goods and services of a whole country over a given period. Its gross domestic product, the term may refer to all the work, energy, goods, or services produced by an individual company, factory, or machine. So, our next question is business cycle. The business cycle, also known as the economic cycle or trade, is the downward and upward movement of gross domestic product GDP. Around its long-term growth trend, business cycle occurs due to the fluctuation that an economy experiences over time resulting from changes in economic growth. Business cycle is measured in terms of GDP. It is the economic performance of a country over a long run. Phases of business cycle. There are four phases of business cycle. These are number one, expansion phase. Number two, recession phase. Number three, depression phase. Number four, recovery phase. Number one, expansion phase. The expansion phase is characterized by increased output, employment, investment, profits, sales, aggregates, demand, bank credit, wholesale, and retail prices and rise in the standard of living. In the later stages of expansion, the inputs start falling short of their demand due to the which the price of the inputs, both labor and raw materials increase. This shows that economy has reached its peak. The growth rate reaches the peak point and then eventually slows down. Recession phase One of the primary business cycle phases is a recession. A recession is a period of declining economic activity. The recession is characterized by decreased investments, bank credits, stock prices, rises in unemployment, etc. Depression phase The economy reaches the depression phase when the economic activities fall below they are normal level this phase is characterized by a drastic reduction in the national income and other expenditures prices of consumer goods decline steadily employment increases as workers lose their jobs bank credit decreases debitors find difficult to pay off their debts etc number four recovery phase the turning point from depression to expansion is termed as recovery phase in the recovery phase the economy gradually recovers from the true gross domestic product aggregate demand, aggregate supply, production, unemployment rate, everything rises again. When economy gets back to its normal turn, economy may expand. Macroeconomic policies Two most important macroeconomic policies are fiscal policy, monetary policy. Fiscal policy is the use of government revenue collection and expenditure to influence the economy when the government changes the levels of taxation of government spending. Monetary policy is conducted by central bank. It includes interest rate, exchange rate, monetary supply, etc. Monetary policy is used to control inflation, decision, business cycle, unemployment rate, aggregate demand, and output. So, guys, this is our today's topic. Hope you can understand very clearly this video. See you in the next class. 
and if you have any other question then just do comment below on this video stay connected with me thank you so much